post echo fan gray wolf so we're gonna work on kicks and the camera on the computer is lagging big time so yeah all right so I don't have a lot of time it's almost 10 30 it's cold as shit so please bear with me I want you to understand something before we do anything please do not try any of this shit you see at home also understand that I'm not gonna tell you something that's not gonna work because I don't want people going oh well I learned this from Echo Fan Grey Wolf. It should have worked. What works for me will not always work for you. But that does not mean it won't be effective. It just means also you got to take your training into account versus my training and the years that I've put in this shit versus the years you put in. If you're just starting martial arts, you got a long way to go. All right? But if I meet you where you're at, we can take some shortcuts versus the big bumps in the road. All right? Now, one... Basic kicks are always going to save your ass. I don't care what anybody else says. You're never going to be in a fight where this is required. Okay? You're never going to be in a fight where... I've got to watch that pole. Where this is required. Alright? Most of the fights you're going to be in are going to base on four basic kicks. Technically three, but because you have two legs... There'll be four to six. Your outside to inside crescent kick, your inside to outside crescent kick, your front kick, your side kick. All right, there's a hole here. <laughs> so those kicks <coughs> are gonna be a little bit more effective because you're gonna actually be able to use them versus jumping spinning kicks, tornado kicks, reverse tornado kicks. And the reason why it's in the 540 or the 380 or whatever the fuck that shit is, is it starts off as a tornado kick and you do a complete rotation and you kick people. <coughs> <coughs> Understand that that's a showman's move. The unfortunate truth is that most martial arts have become more show than go. All right? Now a lot of people aren't gonna wanna agree with that and that's fine. You have your opinion, and that's a you problem. Here's the facts. If you go out of a dojo and think that you're going to be Bruce Lee, and you've only been training for a year, you're either going to get really, really lucky, or come across somebody who can't fight where fuck, then you're going to be really, really good compared to them. The reality of the fact is that half the shit you learn in the dojo ain't going to work when you get out here in the streets, because people don't follow rules in the streets. I'm going to teach you how to survive in the streets. Because I don't have a black belt, but I've beaten plenty of them. Point being made, your basic kick, front push, front push. Axe kick, it's pretty much the same thing. But you're going up and you're coming down. Alright? Now in the event that you kick up for the axe kick and come down, but you've already caught the guy on the way up, then he gets a double whammy, especially if he's still stupid enough to stand there. Now, your kicks that aren't going to help you because you aren't going to get a chance. Your tornado kick, your jumping spinning back kick, your butterfly kick, and your reverse tornado kick. Those four kicks need to go over here in the back burner. If you want to make a movie, they're great because you have a stunt team that makes it look good when you kick somebody. In real life, those kicks are finishers and you'll be blessed if you get the chance to ever actually use one. I'm pretty sure a lot of martial artists are going to be pissed off that I said that. Again, that's a you problem. Or better yet, let me see you use that in actual fucking combat and see what happens when you actually fight somebody who knows what the fuck they're doing versus somebody who's never been in a fight before or somebody who's mediocre but don't know how to dodge, weave, block, or get the hell out the way. See, the thing about this outside to inside crescent kick, boom. I can turn it into a side kick from landing. Same thing with the inside to outside crescent kick. Boom! If I'm doing Kung Fu, my foot doesn't even have to touch the ground. I will just pull a Cleopatra Jones. <laughs> Understand? So, knowing that, because you can do it this way too. This leg doesn't work. Let's try it again. <laughs> you know, knowing that, that kick protects my center line and it's going to be a front kick which allows one leg to stay on the ground 
where this kick, if you duck that shit, I'm a dead man. All right, now foot sweeps. I left them off for a reason, mostly because my old ass can't do them anymore. But foot sweeps can be helpful and harmful at the same time. Just depends on who you're fighting in combat. If I'm foot sweeping you, and you leap over that shit, and just drive one front kick into me, I fucked up. Simple as that. I went for a foot sweep, you saw it coming a mile away, you just jumped front kick me. Hey, you don't even have to do that. Just step back, step forward, and kick. My foot goes under, whoo. You just delivered an easy kick all over this. My easy ass goes down. Because foot sweep is helpful and harmful at the same fucking time. Whether you choose to believe it or not, that's up to you. I will tell you that you can go test this shit, but you can also have somebody break your leg doing a foot sweep. Because you foot sweep, let's just say I lift my foot over your foot sweep. So your foot sweep's coming down. Instead of aiming at my shin, you're aiming at my literal foot. And I just lift this shit up and then stomp on your fucking leg in the process of you sweeping. And I hit you right up in this area. Not up here, not down here, but right up in this fucking joint. So I just come down on your foot sweep. I've broken your leg. And when your leg collapses in, I just grab you by the head and start bringing my knee to your face. Yes, it's brutal. You might say there's no honor in it. And I'm going to tell you this. We ain't in the fucking dojo. Honor counts in the dojo. Honor counts in the streets, but you're not fighting a martial art battle from ancient times. You're fighting a current fight. So if I knee you in the face, it's as honorable as I'm gonna get because I'm 5'3", and you're not. So when you fucking swing your foot sweep and I lift and snap your fucking leg, that's on you because you tried to foot sweep me. Which means you're trying to take me to the ground, and I'm not having that shit because my ground game sucks. So I'm going to make damn sure that we keep it on our feet. Which is another thing. If you are a fighter, and you don't have any standing game, you're the opposite of me. I ain't got a lot of ground game. I sucked at BJJ in the army. Not going to lie about that shit. Doesn't mean I can't beat somebody who knows BJJ. I do have regular or old school standing jujitsu before it went to the ground. Now, the jujitsu I was taught may vary from other jujitsus that everybody else taught. That's why I say, specifically, I was taught standing jujitsu. I was not taught on the ground jujitsu until I got into the army and learned BJJ. The jujitsu I was taught was, it was an offset of judo, and I was taught how to put someone in an arm bar from them throwing a punch. I threw that shit out the window when I started learning Kempo and switched back to more mainstream kung fu because it's easier to break an elbow than it is to put somebody bigger than me in an arm bar. Because you also have to remember on the principle of fighting. Most people, they throw out a jab, they throw out a hook, they throw out an uppercut, and then they do it with this other side. All right, so it's zoom, zoom, or zoom, zoom, zoom. You know, you gotta understand these fight patterns, man. If somebody's zoom, 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 you know, they're not just gonna one hand you all fucking day. You know? From the side, people. You know. You know. They're not going to do this. All day. With one hand. They have two hands for a reason. Now, I'm a short man. So they got to come to me. Alright. If they don't have no close quarters game, their ass is mine. So, in Wen Chun, if they throw a punch, boom, boom. You know, my strike is there. You know. Now, this time I didn't drop my guard as I've been showing people on uh, other videos that I have a habit of dropping my guard. You know. Now, it can also be seen as a block, but let's be honest, I dropped my fucking guard. I, I literally dropped my guard. But see, now that I've cut myself, I raised my guard. So, you have to be honest on how to think. Now, I know this is about kicks. I'm going to get there. But, you know... This is my distance. So I got like that much hand and foot. Okay? So like maybe that much. If my feet don't get that damn distance, I'm gonna need my hands. 
But you have to understand, since this is about kicks, if I'm out here and I throw this kick, I'm going to need that one or that one. Double side. Go on the front kick. Now, back to position. Now, let's say front kick just pisses him off. He's still coming. So, boom. Add in the hands. Now, like I said, I'm a small guy. I'm a real small guy. So if my front kick doesn't stop him, I need to be ready for a side kick. So let's go front. Boom. Foot down for karate. Step back into position. Step forward. Side kick. Okay? Now, in a lot of fights, you're not going to have that time. So, boom. Boom. You know, yes, this guard was up, but this guard was way down. So, if he would have threw a left punch, he would have caught me in the face. All right? I understand that kicks have to have targets too. So if you have a good target, you know, I understand how targeting works. Then you're going to be halfway there. As I said last night um, on one of the videos, you're targeting your center line. The reason why you're targeting your center line is because everything that can hurt you is jam smack dead in the fucking middle. Other things that can hurt you are on the sides, right side, left side, kidneys, ribs, liver, you know, all that shit's up in here, it's up in your kidneys are down here, but your ribs and shit are right here. Tonight's assignment, because it's cold and I'm about to stop, take a drink of water. It should stop somewhere in here. That's where you don't want to get hit. This is your intestines and your belly button. Your real stomach's up in here. Now, the importance of kicking. If you have to kick someone, you want to... I don't want to take my shoe off, but... My foot should be right here. Heel if I need to kick in the bladder. Heel if I need to kick in the belly. So most of my foot's up here. If I only get to do a toe tap, then I want that shit right square dead in the snarl. Because that's going to stop them if they're running. Boom. You know. Now that kick was weak as hell, so... I'm probably going to fall down when I kick them, which is things that they leave off. So let's say I don't want to kick him with that. He's running at me, so I'm standing, and I turn to the side. Boom. Now I kick him with the side kick. I still want that sternum versus his face because that's going to catch him. It's going to make him bend over. So if I, boom, and he bends over, all I got to do is pull my knee back, grab him by the head. Boom. It's going to be simple. You have to keep that in mind that your feet and your knees are as lethal as your hands and your elbows and your forearms. Yeah, you get three weapons up top and two at the bottom, but you get three at the bottom too if you know how to use your calf muscles correctly. All right? Not the back, more like the shin. So, you've seen people put them in a triangle choke with the shins. It's the same pretty much thing you can do up here with the rear neck and choke. It's still shaped like a fucking triangle. People just don't point that shit out. But the problem is, you know, I got to get to you to make anything effective. Now, if you're running at me, yeah, I don't really recommend that one because you're leaving the ground. This one should solidify it. But again, it will depend on who you are fighting. Unfortunately, my fingers are fucking freezing. So I'm gonna end this shit right now. That being said, I am Echo Fan Grey Wolf. This is Kung Fabric number two. Be seeing you.